Good morning, almost afternoon, and my name is Randy with Randy's RV Bible Study. We're going to jump in this exciting Word of God today, to uh, January the 2nd, 2024. This episode is called, Why Die Twice, Once is Enough. Why Die Twice, Once is Enough. And uh, past episodes, we spoke about uh, trials in our life uh, being, you know, to train us. And to grow us up and the meaning uh, behind our trials. Uh, we talked about uh, the difference between trials and temptation. One being external and one being an internal thing. Then the following episode, we spoke about Judgment Day. That was the last episode. So we're going to continue talking about more on Judgment Day. But we're going to get into the study right now. So right at Luke 3. Uh, Nine. Now, remember, we went into uh, John the Baptist is speaking to the multitudes. He calls them brood of vipers, basically he calls them children of the devil. He asks them, who, who warns you about the wrath to come? The wrath to come? What wrath? It's a wrath to come, folks. And we're going to talk about that. And then he says, therefore, bear fruits worthy of repentance. So, if we start at nine, and now, and even now, the axe is laid. To the root of the trees, therefore, every tree which does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Simple analogy, folks. You got a tree out there. You planted a tree. It's not producing fruit. Time to get rid of that tree. No good, right? Chuck it in the fire. So when the people ask him, saying, what should we do then? Well, he answers them and he says, he who has two tunics, let him give to him who has none and he who has food let him do likewise okay then the tax collector who are becoming baptized people hate tax collectors they're extorting people's money um they're no good nobody likes them the romans nor the jews they're on their own then tax collectors also came to be baptized and said to him teacher what should we do and he says to them collect no more than what's appointed by you from you extorting the money and then likewise, the soldiers asked him, saying, and then what shall we do? So then he said to them, do not intimidate anyone or accuse falsely and be content with your wages. They're doing that. They're, 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 they're intimidating people for money. Stop doing that. So we're talking about repentance in your life, living a life of repentance. So now, as the people were in expectation, all reason in their heart about John, whether he was the or not, John answered, saying to him, and I indeed baptize you with water. But one mightier than I is coming, whose sandal straps I am not worthy to loose. He will baptize you with Holy Spirit and with fire. Okay. Amazing, right? Praise the Lord for his word. And Lord, help me tell you about Christ's word. Now, I said, I titled this episode, Why Die Twice? Once is enough. Is it once enough? See, folks, we're all going to die. You're going to die. I'm going to die. Grandma's going to die. Your puppy's going to die. Your kids are going to die. Your fish is going to die. The trees are going to die. Die, die. There's death all around us. It's a sobering reality. We're getting old and we're dying. The wages of sin is death, my friend. And we're not living forever. And the humanist might say to you, Oh, I'm going to live forever. I'm going to go back on the dirt and I'm going to become part of the soil and the minerals and my body's going to be released. It's not happening, man. Yes, your body's going to go out into the dirt. Yes, there'll be part of minerals. Yes, you forgot about your soul. Where's your soul going? You're saying there's nobody in here. There's no reason for right or wrong. There's no judgment. We don't have a, we don't have a, a creator God. We don't have a judge. A ruler. We don't have, this wasn't created. I mean, come on, that's just, erroneous it's preposterous it's preposterous one comedian said you know the problem with the christian or the, the religious person is they're telling you that there was a creator the other the problem with the the person that's an atheist he's saying nothing created the earth well nothing there's no such thing as nothing nothing is nothing and he goes on a banter about that well he's right nothing is nothing you can't get something from nothing uh, nothing from nothing means nothing. Thank you, Billy Preston. I mean, it's it's pretty much uh, mathematically sound. Zero plus zero is zero, folks. So we don't have nothing. 
We have a creator God. And that creator God is putting you and I laws from his, his laws in our heart. Why do I know that? Uh, because you know when you've lied. You know when you're stealing something, you're doing it without people knowing it. You're not just taking it. Well, that wouldn't be stealing. It's not as fun, is it? Uh, you know when you commit adultery, you're, uh, you're guilty. Guilty! You're not. You're not doing it you're, unless your husband's okay or your wife's okay with it. And that's not so much committed adultery. I guess it's committed adultery in God's eyes, but you're not uh, You're not doing that while they're around. You're doing it undercover. You're, you're lying and you're committing adultery. And when you murder somebody, you don't kill somebody in the middle of the day. People do that, but that's not normal. Murder is done with a lot of, lot of, ways you know watch the shows on the on how people get murdered it's insane and they get the hide they lie they, they do many crazy things those are just some of the commandments we have 10 commandments if you didn't know uh out of those uh, the first four speak about our relationship with the lord we're having that lord our as our primary god no gods before him we don't make any graven in images. We don't we don't blaspheme his name, right? And so we, we keep his his day holy. That's first four. And then the rest, the six that are following, and these are paraphrasing. I'm sorry they're on summary like this, but we don't steal, we don't uh, lie, bear false witness, we don't we don't commit adultery, uh convet, covet, you know, we don't uh, we don't kill. So I mean, you know, the basic, I mean, they really, if you look at the Ten Commandments, they make good sense. A lot of our laws are based on that. We don't have, uh, we have laws against murder today. And why is that? Because God put it there. So we know that what I'm getting down to is we're breaking these laws. Now something has to be done. You're not getting away with it. Nobody gets away with breaking laws too much. I mean, if you do, you've got to go run down to Mexico. I'm just saying. Uh, maybe you can hide out. You know, there's no hiding out anymore. There's video cameras everywhere. But there is what I'm getting to is there's a judgment to come. And John is talking about that. You need to repent. That you need to get baptized. So, what's this baptism about? What's now this? You know, is it baptism salvation? Well, of course, it's not. Baptism is not your salvation. The salvation happened when you accepted the Lord in your life. And the Lord is true. You believe on what He said. He is who He said. He's God of the universe. Jesus Christ said that he was the Lord. He is either the Lord or he's a lunatic. I mean, or he's a liar. And and uh, he got killed for saying he's the Lord. He even says in his words, sometimes he'll say, I say. You've heard it said, but I say. And the crowds would marvel at him going, who is this guy that says, I say? He's speaking like somebody from authority. Yeah, I say. This is what I say. Well, only God could say that. Only God can forgive you. From your sins and that's exactly what jesus christ wants to do for you why die twice once is enough we're all dying so why die twice but here's the deal we got to die it's appointed once to die man wants to die uh and that is in hebrews 9 27 we are all have an appointment we're not missing this appointment you might miss your dental appointment i always do but uh if you you're not going to miss this one this appointment is the appointment of you're going to make it, whatever appointed time that is. And you don't know. could be today. could be tomorrow. could be next week. Whatever. It's going to happen, though. Um, and you're appointed once to die. And then the judgment follows. So what is this judgment? Well, it's an eternal judgment. Let's put it that way. And it's a final judgment. Now, for the believer who's accepted Christ, that judgment will be acceptance into heaven. Well, that's not fair. It is fair because you've taken and said to the Lord that I accept that I'm a sinner and that I need your forgiveness and you're offering forgiveness and died for me in my place. Now, for you unbelievers, you will have to face the great white throne. And here's what you'll have to face. You'll have to face the Lord Jesus Christ himself. That's what I said. The Bible says that Jesus Christ himself, the same one that came down and died uh, and, and rose again. That Jesus Christ, the one that died, that they took up on a cross and nailed to a cross, you're going to face him. And we're all going to face him, but you're going to face him in a different light. You're going to face him without having 
Number one, the forgiveness that he offers. So now what do you, what say you to these crimes that you lied? Did you lie? Yeah, sure did. Well, if you commit one lie, you've, you've broken all the commandments. How about that? You're in, you're in a, you're in a, you got a problem. And you got a problem with uh, your eternity. And so the, and it's happening. There's eternal, we all know judgment day is coming. We write books about it. We got movies. We all know the climate's, maybe it is changing. Well, guess what? All of creation is changing because of sin. That's why we die. The wages of sin is dead. Eternal judgment is one of the, this is one of the basic doctrines. So baptism, what is that? Well, it's an initiation, sort of. It's an introduction. It's really saying, I, I commit my life to Jesus. You went to, to be baptized. You don't have to be baptized to be saved. But uh, it's like saying, I'm in. All right, well, I got to write a pass. Go write a passage. Jewish people, they do their bat mitzvahs, and it's you know the young man is now a man at thirteen. Well, gosh, that's a young age to become a man. That's probably about right. And he has to prove himself by knowing. Uh, he has to read all five books of the Torah. So, you know, uh, or at least a portion of it by memory. I don't know exactly how you Jewish people do it, but still. That's part of the rite of passage. You really, for a believer, it's it's a symbol a symbol of death, your your sinful life, <clears throat> and now you're rising again to life. You, you're you're saying, "All right, God, I'm with you, and I'm going to live out this walk, and I'm going to live a life worthy of repentance." John is talking about repentance. Well, Randy, isn't that a work? No, it is not a work. What, what do you think? That, okay, God's going to forgive you and you just continue to live a life of sin? I'll wait. No. Would you, if you did commit adultery, would you go back to your wife and say, honey, I'm broken. I'm sorry. I'm, <laughs> she God, man, I'm so sorry. Maybe you're crying. And she's going to accept that as an apology and actually forgive you. And next week, you're over at the neighbor's house getting it on. Is that really repentance? Is that fair? No. She, that's not going to fly. And it's not going to fly with our Lord. So this eternal judgment is also the final judgment. We will all stand before God and account. Believers will go to, we'll go to paradise. We'll go to heaven because Christ has paid their sin. And they, they're living it through faith. They're believing it. They, they're living out their life. And, Repentance, they know that Jesus Christ is the Lord. They profess that. They call on his name. Anyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. They call on his name saying, Lord, I'm a sinner. That's where you got to be. You got to say, I'm a sinner. You got to admit that, you know, get off your pride. Get off of your, uh, get out of yourself. Get, 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 just admit it. You've done wrong. And you need, you need somebody to, and, and Jesus is offering you to, to pay the price. So why die? Twice, once is enough. That's what I'm saying. So most assuredly, I say to you, uh, who Jesus in red. These are the letters in red. He says, most assuredly, I say to you, he who hears my word and believes in him that sent me. Those are capital, by the way. Remember this. I say, I say. This is Jesus. I say, I'm, I'm gonna say it. I have the authority to say this. And I say this. I say to you, he who hears my word believes, like it's it's real in capital H, him who sent me, capital M, has everlasting life and shall not come into judgment. Okay, so that's for the believer. Now, but we have, we have a, a lake of fire that's taking place. And that is for, uh, we have the books that are open in Revelation. The end of time has happened. It's over, man. Finally, this has all come to a head. Even all of creation is groaning. Hey, climate, guys, the whole creation is groaning. We're waiting, and it's waiting for the sons of men. It's happening because it's not meant to be this way. And uh, anybody can see, any a child can see that. That's why we could come to him with childlike faith. But as I'm going to get into um, 
the other section of the Bible. <clears throat> Romans 2 and 4. Let's see. Or do you despise the riches of his goodness, forbearance, and long suffering, not knowing that goodness of God leads you to repentance? We talked about, uh, you know, for those who love the Lord, uh, all things work together for those who love the, uh, love the Lord and are called to his purpose. Well, that's that's Romans 8 right there. And what what is the goodness? You know, people, I believe they misquote that. Well, it's all good because of, the good is that you're being led to repentance. The good is these trials that are taking place in your life are leading you to repentance. These trials are, are putting trials. I just listened to John MacArthur today. These trials are examining your heart for your sake. You need to know where you're at. Do you believe this stuff as a believer? Now, I'm talking to believe, uh, believe, uh, believers. We're going to be, uh, we're going to be in heaven. The unbeliever, you guys got to deal with the lake of fire. Why you don't have to? It's all I'm saying. Why die? That's the second death, by the way. And why die twice? Why? You only have to die once. Why die twice? So, or do you despise the riches? I see. But in accordance with your hardness and impenitent heart, you're impenitent. You are treasuring up for yourself wrath in the day of wrath and revelation of the righteous judgment of God. Judgment's coming. Wrath. God's wrath is coming. Um, people don't, you don't like this, I know, but it's truth. This word of God is true. Search it out for yourself if you don't believe it. It intersects itself. I mean, come on. Eternal life to those who by patient continuance in doing good, seek for glory, honor, and immortality. Immortal, mortality. These are these are the eternal life for these people that are seeking for glory, honor, and immortality. We're seeking the Lord, you know, living out this Christian faith, living a life of repentance. That's that person. But to those who are self-seeking and do not obey the truth, what's the truth? Jesus Christ said is the truth. This is the truth. Jesus Christ is the truth, the way, and the life. So. But to those who are self-seeking, uh, hey, self-seeker out there, you out there, I hope you're listening because this is what this says. And do not obey the truth, but obey unrighteousness, indignation, and wrath, tribulation, and anguish on every soul of man who does evil, of the Jew first and of the Greek. But glory, honor, and peace to everyone who works what is good to the Jew first and to the Greek. For there is no partiality with God, brings the Lord. For as many as sin without the law will also perish without the law. And as many as sin in the law will be judged by the law. So you're going to be judged by the law. What's the law? Do not bear false witness. Have you have you lied? I may take that one because we probably all have lied. Just one. No, I've never lied before. Well, you're a liar. Well, you're a liar. Everybody has lied. The kids lie. Lie, lie, lie. You lie, lie. You lie like a rug. So you have to face the judgment. It's only fair that everybody is going to have to face. You're saying that I don't, I don't need this repentance and I don't need Jesus Christ and I don't need to be. You do need, you do need that. You're going to, unless you want to, you're just hell bent on hell fire and, and eternal flames and all that and gnashing of teeth. And you just think that that's a good day. I don't know. That's a good day forever. That's a forever day. There are no days in, in eternity. So for the hearers of the law, the side of God, but do doers of the law will be justice. So you can't just be a hearer. You guys are hearing me. You just hear, oh, go to the door. I believe. And no, actually, you got to do. Faith comes by grace, not by works. Faith, that's a works faith. Well, it says right here. It shows for the not for the for not the hearers of the law are just in sight of God, but the doers of the law will be justified. For when Gentiles who do not have the law by nature do the things in the law, these these although not having the law are law to themselves, who show the work of the law written in their hearts and their conscience. I did say it was written in the law. The Bible's true. The law is written in our hearts. It's in our conscience. You're breaking your conscience. You could sear your conscience and just do evil and not care. You'd be a psychopath to kill somebody and not have it. You got an impact. You know, in the day when God, God will judge the secrets of men by Jesus Christ, according to my gospel, Jesus Christ will be the judge, and there is a judgment day to come. Death and Hades 
will be cast into the lake of fire. And anyone not found in the book of life will be cast. Is your name in the book of life? How do you know? Jesus is the judge, the second death. Here we go. Why die Why die twice? Isn't once enough? Isn't once enough? Or do you despise the riches of God? The riches of God? His goodness? His, 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 what, what is so hard to understand? And what is so hard to accept? Guys, y'all, family, friends, people, people out there, friends. I don't know what to, to, to call petitioning to you. I'm urging you uh, to take this seriously. I'm, I'm in love. This is in love. I'm saying, please, don't go to the lake of fire. You don't have to. You don't. God has made a way. He has made a way. He has made a way. He has made the way. What do I do? These people are asking, well, stop doing what you're doing. I forgive you now. Now stop the, the adulterers who's caught in adultery. Jesus said there, stop committing adultery to the lady at the well. He, he he commissions us to stop sinning. Well, we need help. We need to first own, uh, own it. You know, yeah, I'm naturally, we're all like that. You know, the Bible says we're not supposed to judge the, the, the world. Well, that's because the world, we're naturally like that. We were all of the world. I was a... Uh, 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 I lived a life of sin. I'm adulterer, fornicator, you name it. I've done it. I'm not speaking to you from a place up here. Well, only Jesus Christ could speak to you from that place. He is the king. He's sinless. He lived a sinless life, and yet they still killed them. Now, none of us have lived a sinless life. That's the only person I know in history. And Jesus Christ was a real person. That If you don't believe that, all these people... Uh, Aquinius or whatever. There's a coin. You can look up the coin. They have coins. They're real people. They're, Pontius Pilate was a real person. Jesus Christ was a real person. He's not just a teacher. He's not. He's not, surely not Michael's son, Jehovah's Witness guys, or brother, whatever you guys have him at. He's the Lord God Almighty, fixing to be the judge and an eternal judgment. You will stand. You and I stand before him. And we will either have Jesus Christ's blood covering us. That's the only hope you and I have for eternity in heaven. Don't you want to be in heaven? You can't say everybody dies because of heaven. Not according to this. Because there's a second death. The second death is the lake of fire. And those who refuse this message that I'm giving you, John's message that he was giving you, Jesus' message, God's message throughout all of time, those that refuse will be in the lake of fire. There are two roads. There's the narrow gate, and that's through Christ, and Christ alone. And that leads to heaven and eternity. There's the wide gate that leads you to the lake of fire, doing it your way, not considering this at all. I mean, if you consider it and you don't want to do it, that's better than. Uh, a churchgoer out there that says he's a believer and lives a life alive. He can't, you can't live a life of not repentance. That's what we do. We we baptize. We get baptized. So we sh we're just demonstrating our faith. We're just saying, hey, this is real. I'm I'm in. But give me the water. Whatever. The water is not holy. The water is not. It could be dirty. You know, when I was baptized in Eugene, Oregon, at Willamette Christian Center. When I was 28 years old, the water was dirty and it was cold. The heater didn't work. And Greg Seamus, if he's out there, listen, he baptized me uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. And, you know, so the water wasn't special. No, what was special is I was ready to commit my life to him. And my life forever has changed since then. Praise Jesus. I'm not perfect. Things have taken their toll. I have had to go through many trials myself. I just want you to remember this. A trial and a test is on the external. The temptation is an internal. We talked about that. Let's make a clear distinction about that. God is testing you to see where your heart is for yourself. And you need to know where you're at. Are you going to live for him? Do you want it? Eternal life. You can have it. Write me. Make a comment. Accept him. That's all. Accept what he says. Make a decision today. Say, Lord, that's it. I'm, 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 I believe this is true. And I want to go to heaven. And God, I'm I'm, I'll, I want to be with you, and I hope you'll do that, and I pray for y'all, 
In Jesus' name, God bless. Andy's RV Bible study. I'll be back hopefully tomorrow, Lord willing. We'll do some more. Bye.